Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Paul the Gar Guy here. Today, we are looking at a 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage G4. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I usually typically review the uh, Chevy lineup. I'm trying to broaden my channel, so this here is the first trying to switch things, trying to get everybody happy, trying to get um, pretty much as much content as I can and uh, try to make the channel grow a little bit. So this is it here. This car is my brother's car. His name's Justin. And again, it's 2018. I'll go over it really quick. Uh, the 15 inch rim uh, comes with Yokohamas all around from the, uh, from the dealership. Yeah, that's very nice. I personally like the sedans a little bit better than the hatchbacks. Um, personally, that's just my my thought and i'm gonna hop in the back here and of course this is his daily driver so um there's some stuff in here but we're good on the other side but uh automatic windows of course door handles at the edge and let me sit back here i'm gonna sit on stand on a few things but a uh, decent leg room i probably have at least three inches i'm about six foot tall as well and um this here is a cup holder as well that comes from the center console when you pull back so that's a nice ad that mitsubishi did i'll pull that up ah uh, thanks justin that's justin say hi justin hi uh two cup holders here as well for the center seats and this here pulls down if i can grab it you can't really see too much back there that's his trunk i'm going to show the trunk in a little bit as well um and this makes it easy if you had something long that you had to come up through here and let's put this back there and actually while we're we're here might as well open up the trunk so let me come over here here's the gas cap and here is the trunk and again he has stuff in the back still this is a daily driver i didn't want him to empty it out um so yeah pretty pretty big uh, it's a pretty big trunk, especially for the size of it. And again, as an economic car, uh, the Mirage is great. Um, I, great price, great fuel economy. And this here uh, has a 1.2 liter uh, three-cylinder engine. And actually, I'm going to open up the trunk. I'll show you guys. Let's see, or not the trunk, the hood. Thank you, Justin, again. I gotta have Justin in more videos. It makes it so much easier for me. The uh, three-cylinder here, um, this gets about, it says averaging out a uh, highway for 40, or actually what's it do? Averages out at 40 for what the sticker says. What do you usually get uh, to I the gallon? I usually get about 42, 43. Okay, and that's that's city traffic or highway. city driving? Highway? highway? Okay, awesome, that's not bad. City, I get about 38. 38? That's not bad. And again, guys, like I said, for an economic car, five-seater, decent trunk space for what you're looking for. Um, I know it's a three-cylinder, but you have to imagine the uh, maintenance cost, how well it's got to be as time progresses. So, um, and Mitsubishi parts aren't that expensive. And, uh, yeah, let's go back in the inside here. Door handles, I would say, are probably a little small, but, again... It's a decent sized car. It's an economic car. Automatic window here. This is kind of what we'd see from our, our standpoint as a driver. Very nice. Ah, very nice. How you doing? Um, so pretty much, I'm going to show you, 3,123 miles. Not bad at all. I'm going to unzip my jacket, actually. And I just want to say, again, uh, the inside for the front seats are actually decently comfortable. Um, and as again, some people think, you know, oh, it's a small car. Sometimes the seats can be like, you know, eh, they're iffy, just like the Ford Focus. I'm kind of iffy on, but uh, these here, they work out great. Great leg room as well. Let me pull out the keys. I'll just show you how this looks. So we got the unlock, lock, automatic start. And we're just going to put this in here. So there we go. 
Yep, that's awesome. And it's got the light switch over here, turns all the lights on. And also another cool thing, it has the uh, nice display in the center. We could pop it into reverse. And you have a nice camera there. And uh, yeah, that's very, very nice. It's pretty well designed again for, for an economic vehicle. This is pretty, pretty great. And the steering wheel has a nice touch. The top has the stitching. Wonder if the camera picks it up pretty good, like leather stitching. And then here it's like a plastic, um, uh, high, a decent quality type gloss plastic over here. And it feels really nice, feels firm, great, great handles on there. And this also has the Apple CarPlay and uh, Android, uh, okay. Android Auto. Yep, awesome. And the uh, radio, media, you can hook up your phone and uh, has a CD player as well, which some cars are starting to lose. And then this is typically pretty basic. And you got the USB ports right here. And then you got the another port right there. And you got no little handbrake. The only one thing, I'm gonna shut this off. Now, typically when you shut off a vehicle, the wheel shouldn't move. I think a Mitsubishi might have gone a little cheap on this section, but you can still move the wheel. So uh, just by a little bit, but uh, you can, there's ways to prevent that from moving, of course. Otherwise, so far, pretty good. Um, and the price was what, 17,000 around? So $17,000, sorry, I moved the camera a little bit. $17,000 for what you get out of it. It's very, very nice. Um, and you know, again, this is by economic terms. So uh, Justin said, I can, we can go for a little ride. Um, I can say how it feels and uh, you know, we'll see from there. Let's hop into the test drive. Another thing guys, I'm my apologies. This comes with the Mitsubishi cars, I think. I don't know if they come with all of them. Let's pop it over here, Mitsubishi Motors. And it's pretty sweet. So you can have uh, pretty much your insurance card, your photo ID, stuff like that, registration. And uh, for your air pressure right over here, you get a nice pen, what does it say? It says Mitsubishi on it. And uh, you get a first aid kit. And actually it says Mitsubishi Motors first aid kit contents. I actually get, I oh, actually get a lot. And this comes with the price, Justin. Yeah. This comes right with the car. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. And you know, there's sometimes there's, there's needs where you you will need a first aid kit. Um, sometimes someone gets a cut or something, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right, guys, sorry. Now we're back on a test drive. Hey guys, welcome back again. We're going for a test drive here. And uh, Justin's probably gonna give me a few extra things. Um, about the vehicle. I'm sorry if the camera's a little weird in a setup. Um, it's just how the mount is. We're gonna go for a little drive. Um, on the gravel, actually, I'm gonna say this. It actually feels pretty decent. Um, the suspension isn't that bad. Uh, and it, like I said, my, my driveway is gravel. I'm not gonna gun it at all here because it's someone else's car. Steering is very, goes very well. Um, the car shows, it just showed me there, uh, it was on Eco. And Justin, does this have like a sport mode or anything? Yeah, if you, next time you stop, if you want to push it over, you can go in sport. Okay, I won't do that. I don't want to go too fast. But the, uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I should say I want to gun in and beat on the engine. But we're going to go over here. Braking's very well. And Justin was also telling me, um, you know, it still does show you what, if something's, you know, wrong with the car, it will show, um, indicate it on the, uh, dash here. And, uh, you know, you can see your average miles per gallon and stuff. And I think I just saw what you were averaging around what, uh, high thirties, right? Yeah. High thirties for city driving. And that's, that's really good going over some train tracks. Feels nice. Um, and for a three cylinder, um, it's very quiet, and I, I, I would suspect. Um, and the qu ride quality is very nice. And like I said, I mean, for the front seats, for uh, the car that you're getting out of it, it's just uh, a great deal with it. And you know, there's other cars I want to review just like this that, you know, for the buck for what you get um, as a sedan or as an SUV, there's there's plenty of others out there that you know you can you can get a great car. Brand new comes with. Do you know the warranty on this? 
that the Mitsubishi comes with or no? Uh, I have a 10 year, 10 year? 6 year, I don't know, 4 year. I think. 4 year, is that the powertrain or, or is that bumper to ten, bumper? 10 year is the powertrain. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I think the bumper to bumper is the 4 year. Okay. Alright, so 4 year bumper to bumper. Yeah, that's pretty, that's a good, good thing for the warranties. I'm not 100% sure of, like, I, exactly, guys, like I was saying, I'm not sure of Mitsubishi warranties or anything. Uh, still really new to this. But uh, we're going to go to a little turn here, see how it handles in the corner. It's really good. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not gunning it in the corners, but um, for how it feels when you're going in it, sometimes it could be an unpleasant turn. Um, I forgot which vehicle I was in. I think it was a Hyundai, maybe a Elantra. I forgot the vehicle I was in exactly. I just remember it was a Hyundai. Um, and it turning it just it wasn't a comf as comfortable as i'd like it to be uh maybe if i review it in the future i'll let you guys know but uh yeah pretty pretty nice do you know how this handles in pa snow or mud <laughs> snow terrible it doesn't handle well yeah because of how light it is oh uh, and the tire width is yeah. if you guys saw in the video it's very it's pretty thin um but i'm sure it'll probably like 50 dollars each to replace for a decent brand, I would assume, right? I mean, I guess he went. I guess we wouldn't know. It's only got three thousand on the odometer. Um, very nice. And how much does it usually take to fill up the tank? What do you said? About nineteen to twenty. Nineteen twenty dollars. All right, so twenty dollars, guys. You put twenty dollars in a tank, you know you're doing something right. Um, and especially in uh, the Lancaster area, Lancaster County, everything's a bit spread out, a little bit further uh, away from everything. So. You think about it, uh, you kind of have to drive a little bit more. You want uh, a little bit better for for your tank. And typically, if it drives anything, or if it snows like anything crazy around here, we typically might have off. Sorry, guys. There's a uh, horse and buggy um, here. It's actually stopping. I don't know if it'll show it. Let's see. I'm sorry. Maybe not. Let me try it this way. Hopefully you guys got to see it. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, there's a horse and buggy there just gliding on the way. Uh, Lancaster County, the Amish. But um, getting back on the topic here for Mitsubishi, I think it was a well-constructed car. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Fruge is really good. Good ride right there. The only thing I probably would like Mitsubishi to do is have a light in the back. I know it's a decently sized car, uh, but not, a light in the back for the back passengers would be pretty nice because then the only thing that we have is in the center and the front. Um, but other than that, yeah, like I said, nice gloss black uh, plastic. Uh, obviously, there's a few, I guess, decently um, economic parts in here, a little cheap, but. Uh, you gotta kind of suspect that with, with with the price, you know. Again, it's uh, brand new. You're getting warranties. You know, you you can't go wrong. I, I don't think you could. Um, and are you thinking of doing anything to the car yourself? About a cold air and taking exhaust uh -huh. and tinting the windows. Veining it does happen. I might put a short video on my Facebook page or uh, Facebook, Instagram, and or Twitter. Um, make sure you check it out. It's at Powell the Car Guy. Again, it does handle very well for turns. There's some economic cars that you feel it a little bit more. Um, so yeah, no, this is pretty good. Oh yeah, nice ride. Now, if you guys own a Mitsubishi Mirage, and I didn't mention something, which I'm sure I missed, um, didn't mention anything in the video, be sure to put it down in the comments. Let me know. Like I said, I'm not 100% familiar with the product, um, but put it down there. Let me know what you think, and let me know what you think. If you had to pay $17,000 for a car uh, brand new, would this be something for a good price? Now, this isn't probably the quickest thing, but it's the uh, quickest car. What's the 0 to 60 on this? 12.4. 12.4 seconds, guys. Yeah, because I was feeling that a little bit, taking a little while to get up there. Do you want to say something? Yeah. 
Also, this thing has a brake hill assist, so when you park on a hill, you don't have to keep your foot on the brake pedal the whole time, which I find handy sometimes. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. And we got another horse and buggy here. I'm just going to pass it. This is what happens with car reviews sometimes in Lancaster County. You can't, can't predict these things. But let's see. We're going to make a right. Um, pretty good feels like there's the uh, CVT transmission if you guys don't know what that is it's when uh, you know you're uh, pretty much it's all belt driven and uh, you don't feel it shift and that's what I was kind of experiencing there no I didn't feel like it was shifting um, but other than that, sometimes it can throw people off because you're used to watch, watch. Obviously, you're not going to get, you know, horrible car noise. I know, guys. I know. But let's go back here. And we are back at the, the house. I'm going to try using the rear camera and let you guys know how that is. And again, I'm pretty surprised on how it handles all my gravel driveway. It's, you don't feel it as much. It's pretty nice. I mean, I don't feel much in my GTI either. I don't know if it's because of the short wheelbase or what, but some cars I've driven on here, I can feel a little bit more. The camera is pretty nice, but I usually like using the mirrors because you can never go wrong with that. The camera is good, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. The lines are there. The only thing, if you watch my Chevy videos, uh, it the the lines turn to where you're going. So, uh, but no, it's very nice. Um, great ride. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. Yeah. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, this was a great, great drive in a 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And do you have a page for this car at all? Or Casper the car. Casper the car. Check it out on Facebook. Otherwise, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate the support. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.